Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of Code Prime, the CSS tutorial series. In this tutorial, we are going to learn the CSS overflow property and we will be going to explain that CSS overflow property. So this is the CSS basically property is a overflow that means when we are going to control a parent. So you can see this is a parent property and this is our parent property. So children can't go out of the parent control. So this way you can see that this property, this is a children property as yellow color. So this was going out of the parent boxes. So we are going to control to learn the controlling that how you can control your cell then that it can go out of the control of your parent property. So we'll be going to explain that in this video right now. Okay, now you can see here I have added a basic HTML file inside of this my code editor. And then I have added a title here and here I have added some CSS for the body item. And this body item you can see I have added a linear gradient color as you can see on the browser, a linear gradient color. So now we are going to write in some property to some tag here. So inside of this body section. So here I'm getting that a class name that is box. So class name is box and here inside of this parent here I'm going to add a I'm going to add a so I can make it an enter here so this can be better understanding. So here I'm going to add a IMZ tag. So inside of this IMZ tag here I'm going to add a images that is main dot. Okay, so let me see that actually the images name what I can write it that man dot jpg okay let me hide that and it will be man.jpg so i have added this but first of all i need to hide that man.jpg this is children property so let me minimize that first so first of all we are going to talk about the parent property this is box so now copy the box classes from here and after this css for the body here so here i'm just going to write in that body class so now first of all we are going to write some css for the body parent property so let me set the width and height first of all with here I'm going to make it a 300 pixel and height height I'm going to make it a it's also the 300 pixel but it should be make some little bit of white pictures because it's a man images so here I'm going to make it 250 pixel okay so now here I need to add a background color so let me add a background color here I'm going to add a background color that is yellow and let me add a border so that we can visible it easily so border here i'm going to add it to pixel solid and hashtag ff so after adding this border so now we just need to save this file and you can see this item was available to showing there so now we're going to make them into the center so i'm going to writing some margin here so let me set the margin so if we make it auto so it should be go to center here so now we can see that margin has been added the center here and we need to make it a position okay here we need to make it okay that position will be applied for a little bit of later so that we can see that we have added a background parent property now we're going to invisible that that here you can see visible that man means img and save this file you can see that img is available here but whenever we are going to make some set some width and height so first of all let me copy that img tag from here and here that we need to go to the container that the box that is parents and then we're going to write that IMG tag now self is now here we're going to make it so for example I'm going to writing some width so it is that exactly width was we have exactly that 250 pixel but I'm writing that 350 pixel so that it can be go out of this parent you can see that the parent has been gone out here from here so now we're going to make that overflow property using here but before applying that overflow property you must be need to set a position for this parent property so here we're going to write in that position that is relative so here we're going to write in the position so that it will be work very easily so now this is our property that is parents and now we're going to make them this images should be set in the parent property so now this is the main property that is we are going to overflow it overflow property so let me here this write the overflow and it should be hidden so now save this file and you can see that this property this images has been inside of this parent property it was nothing going to out of the control from here so now this way you can control your property and if you want to visible them so then you can make them is simply the visible and save it and it was going out again so this is the way how you can accept this control your overflow property in css of any property so now here this visible or if you write that auto so it should be also the visible you can see that and but it will be a scroll bar is available here that you can see that scroll bar also available you can visible that images 
so let me make the size little bit of more so that you can get this scroll bar easily from here you can see there is a scroll bar in this and there is also a scroll bar in top to left there is top and bottom there is also a scroll bar and there is left to right there is a scroll bar so this is actually the overflow property we can use that for this overflow parent property and scrolling property for example if we are going to add some element in the parent the child elements is getting so much bigger than parents so then cases we can use that scroll bar also we can scroll that here another also there's overflow scroll okay now we are going to hide that overflow scroll bar by the selecting of the side so here now we are going to writing that overflow and here we can see the direction you can see the x and y direction so first of all we are going to select that for the x and here we are going to writing that hidden then save this file and you can see that overflow x side of this the scroll bar was hidden now we are going to for controlling for this y so let me copy and paste this line and just be invisible of this x direction and just changing that value that is y and save this file as you can see that y direction also hidden and that is x direction is visible we can scroll only x direction but y direction no visible is available for this scroll so now we are going to hide for the both places for we just need to invisible and visible that code as we have minimized now just you can see that all of this scroll bar is hidden and but nothing can be scroll available so this is the way how we can scroll available but whenever you are going to make them visible here so it will be auto we are going to make it or you can also write some pixel sizes also so here just save it or we can simply just hide this code and write only this one this can be on the automatically the scroll bar will be work for the front of the bot side but whenever you are going to using that skin in mobile devices that cases the scroll bar will be not shown that cases the entire the entire skin will be work as a scroll bar you can just touch and your finger move it and it will be work successfully so this is the overflow properties complete tutorial so now if you having any question about this overflow tutorial so you can give me on the comment section below and if you enjoy this video please like on it and share it with your friends and please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will never miss any updated promos